a lady who was one of our top newsreaders for several years, but has many other facets to her career. We very much welcome Jan Leeming. There we are. All right, my darling. Hello, hello. Thank you. Baby. Well, <laughs> don't you start, Brucey <laughs> Baby. Well, now, you know, I didn't realise that you've written about Korean cookery. I mean, well, only a small... A small, but you, oh, yeah. you did a whole chapter all about I did. I the did. Korean cookery. Yeah. Now, who published that? Octopus Books. Octopus? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've heard of Penguin, but never... <laughs> Octopus. Octopus I see. Books, yes. but what, about, what about the things they drink and all that? I mean, is that uh, all a bit strange uh, as well? Oh, oh yes, you've obviously heard. I was on a, a holiday quiz. Yeah, well, somebody the, told me a little bit the about The other it, side, and yeah. one of the rounds was strange food and, and drink, and you had to identify it, and our team got yeah. a glass of sort of yellowish liquid, and I took a sip and thought, mm. This is schnapps or something like this. Yeah, pretty yeah. awful. So we tried to guess what it was. Yeah. And I said, well, I think it's got some legs on it, which is what one should say about wine. Yes, of course. And the chairwoman said, yes, you could say that. Mm -hmm. And it was Chinese wine with a lizard in it. <laughs> well, I freaked out. It was horrendous. Really, really? Yeah. Absolutely horrendous. But a couple of weeks later, a friend of ours who flies for Cathay Pacific and lives in Hong Kong yeah. came over and had lunch with us and said, I've got a Christmas present for you. And he handed in Christmas wrapping paper what was obviously a bottle. A bottle and he said, now, don't one. drop it. And I yeah. thought, well, that's a fool thing to say. You yeah. don't drop bottles. Of course not. Ellis. <laughs> My goodness, look at that. Chinese wine with a lizard in it. Oh, but wait a minute. Isn't there a saying, uh, drunk as a newt? What is it? <laughs> A bit more vulgar, Brucey, is baby. Is it? I, well, we I'm not baby. saying it. But there we are. But there that is. is incredible. I mean, I'd never heard of that You can before. see we haven't drunk it. Mind no. you, it is evaporating. My goodness. It's my son's favourite party trick. He comes out and says, would you like a glass like of a wine? Glass and then of takes the napkin off the bottle. I think they gave me some of this for lunch. Anyway, <laughs> I think we're ready, as we ever will be, <laughs> to hear your challenge. Right, my yes. challenge. Now, this is something I'm sure must be in the uh, book of records. Did you know that there are three and a half thousand varieties of apples available and grown in the world? Three no, and a half didn't thousand. didn't know that. Three and a half thousand in the half. world? Yes, and I picked all of them off my lawn a few weeks ago. <laughs> yes. Well, tonight, fruit farmer Dan Newtboom, Newtboom, sorry, from Ipswich. Oh, yeah. Will attempt to identify 21 of the better known varieties by sight, touch, and smell. There we are. Quite a challenge, quite a challenge. What do you think about this, uh, Bob? Wait a um, minute. He hasn't done it yet. <laughs> Anybody think he's done it already? No, I'm, I'm asking Bob first. I think he'll do it. Um, he must be trying to keep the doctor away. Ooh. Trying he'll to keep yes. it. A good answer, Bob. So you think so? Press your yes button. And now we come to you, Alan, if you won't be so precocious. <laughs> All you want to do is... Have you got a reason for this? Well, Brucey baby... <laughs> <laughs> I think that what has been suggested is a total, total impossibility. OK, all right, that's it a good reason. It cannot be done under any circumstances. It can't be done. Right you are, all fine. Right. Now, what do you think out there? Make your bet. If you think our friend from Holland to do this, make your bet yes. Of course, no, if you don't think so. And do have another bet at home. Try and get back what you've lost already. Oh, 60 yeses and 40 noes. So they're pretty well on your side. But, Jan, yes. should it go wrong? Should it possibly go wrong? What are you prepared to do? Well, I know Not it drink has... a bottle of this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Brucey baby, that. not even for a million for no, charity. I, I right. could not. <laughs> OK. I know it's got to be something you don't particularly enjoy. Mm -hmm. So they re-released Lawrence of Arabia recently, and it reminded me that I once had to ride a camel, and I was stiff oh. for two weeks afterwards. Oh, so I, I should ride think so. You ride a camel? Round Regent's Park. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Regent's Park. Well, 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 we have the great pleasure of filming that. And would you Dan, take this? Don't let me down. I'm sure he's starting to move. Would you mind just taking it back? And thank you, Jan Leeming, for that lovely idea. Good. There we are. Well, thank you again. Here's the man. Here's the man we hope will be the apple of our eye from Holland, Dan Neuterboom. There we are. Hey! <laughs> Hello, Dad. How are you? 
Nice right, to see you. stand right just there. Right. And I said from Holland, but of course you, you, you're living here now. I when do. did you When did you actually come here? Oh, well, I think it's 1959. 1959? Yeah. Oh, are you thinking of staying? Oh, I hope so, yeah. <laughs> oh, good, that's lovely. I came on a moped. Uh, a with moped? A, yeah, with yes. a tomato boat. Yeah. On a tomato boat? On a tomato boat. <laughs> From Holland. From Holland. Now, listen, is that right? There are 3,500 jammers there, 3,500 different varieties of apple in the world. Which apple do you think in the world Eve tempted Adam with? Well, I would say discovery. Oh, there is, there is a... a there is a, an apple called Discovery. Yes, there's an apple called Discovery. Well, I'm sure they both discovered a lot. That's right. So, well, Dan, we do thank you very much for being here and thank you for doing this very unusual challenge. So could we have the You Bet Apple stall on, please? Come over here. Don't look round. Don't look round because we don't want you to see any of the apples before they come on. And when we go along the road, it'll be top, bottom, top, bottom as we top go bottom, along. Yeah. Top, bottom. And tell us which one you think it is, and I have the, all the answers at the back of the little graphics thing here. You see? Here we are. So, first one here, off you've got as, you know, right. as long as it takes. When, when do you want me to start? Start now. Start now? Yeah, fine. Right. Should we start now? Yes! yes. Right. Okay. Well, this is, uh, in my view, Crispin, which is a nice, hard apple. A Crispin? You're yep. right. That's good. And this is, is an imported job yes. called Golden Delicious. Yes, I think we know that one. That Golden Delicious, yes. Golden yes. Delicious. One of my right. favourites. Lovely. That... I think is one of the best apples in the world. Yeah. As Cox's orange pippin. Ah, oh, yeah, but they look very similar to these. Yeah, but yeah. they are the most beautiful Cox's orange, orange pippin. pippin yeah. A beautiful apple. And I would say, nice to eat you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> a good one. A good one. Off you go. Then. Now that's that's Gloucester. <laughs> A Gloucester? A, a, a Gloucester apple? Gloucester, here we yeah. are. Hold on. Double Gloucester. <laughs> Fine, off we go, this uh, one here. That, that is a very nice new apple called Fiesta. Fiesta. Let's yeah. have a look. You're right again, well done. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'll pass that. You're gonna, oh, I'll, you come back to this I'll one? I'll come back to that. They do look, some of them look very similar. I mean, that looks very similar to this. I'm that not... is a good ah. old English. Yes, I think Eggerman I Agamond Russet. Yeah, nice. Russet. It's Crunchy. a beautiful apple. You get it at the right time of the yeah. year, and yeah, it's got to be an Egremont russet. Well done indeed. Now then. And this is an apple, if you want to have a nice apple pie, yeah. never fall out with that person called Granny Smith. Granny Smith, beautiful. Good. You probably checked in on your honeymoon under that name, That's did you? Right, yeah. <laughs> That's early golden Mr. russet. Mr. and Mrs. Granny. Yeah. That's another russet? That's an a russet. early golden russet. You're yeah. right again. That is suntan. Suntan, you're right. Correct. Now then, this one up here. Uh, that... Oh, wait a minute. Where are you going? Uh, well, I'll just have a look. Oh, I so, see. Oh, you're checking this with this. That, I would say, is... Some of them are so similar. I mean, when you're close to them... Yeah. That is Mulling Kent. Mulling Kent, correct. Right. That is Dr. Harvey. Dr. Harvey, right, right again. Oh, yes, you can eat to taste. Or That's good. Taste Jupiter. Them. Yeah, let's have a bite of that. <laughs> yeah, bye, Jupiter. That's good. <laughs> That's Discovery, Bruce. Discovery, all oh, the one that yeah, Eve... Adam and Eve have. Eve, you thought, yeah. you tempted Adam with the Discovery. Um, huh? That is Worcester per main. Worcester per main, good. Yeah. yeah, there's one back there that um, you would have to go back. This one... I would think, I'm sure, that's Winston. Winston, correct. Yeah. Uh, can I take this one first? If, yes, if you want to, if you want to. I think we can cover you on the camera there, fine. Right, that is James Greaves. Jimmy Greaves, James Greaves. Greaves. Jimmy Greaves. That is a new apple called Jester. Jester, right again, don't forget these two. We're supposed to go top bottom, but never mind, you do it your way. I think we're covering you. I keep that, you're going to juggle. That yeah. is the best apple in the world to make a good apple pie with. Ah, really? Which Bramley! One? Bramley! Yes! Yes, all the ladies down there do that one. Oh, well, let's see if it's right. You're right. Bramley's seedling. Yep. This one here. That is... See, now that looks like a Cox's orange pippin to me again. You that's see. Belle de Bosco. Ah, well. Belle de Bosco. Really? Foreign. Right. Yes. Belle de Bosco. Foreign muck. 
Yes. <laughs> OK, now yeah, you've got to go back no. on this one. What do you think? This. Is this the last one? Yeah, this is the last one. Yeah. You, you've got all the others correct. One I more to go and you're there. Katie, Katie, you are the apple of my eye. Katie. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done, Dan the Apple Man. <laughs> well, there we are. Here's your you bet, Betsy. And I tell you, it's never been more well earned than that. That was That's absolutely brilliant. Well done. Do I get a kiss for this? Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Here he is, the flying Dutchman. Be careful of him. Thank you, Dan Uteboom. Yay! There. <laughs> well done. Dan, you said yes, it would be done, and you were right, so you get another 60, you go up to 139, well done. You agreed as well, Bob, so you're off the mark at last. You get 60, but you get nothing, Alan. Ah. Oh. You stay on 79. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that face. <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> and out there, yes, 60 of you were, were believers, so well done, and that will be converted into money later on in the show. Well done, you 60. And no forfeit for Jan. <sighs>